Well, good evening, chat. Hopefully the start of your week is treating you well, probably better than it's treating Jared. Poor, poor Jared. Oh, lots of developments in the story of our boy, the Pussy Slayer, the Nintendo Let's Player that has got all the the chick's panties a-droppin'. Oh, they call this motherfucker the Slip and Slide because ladies get wet when he walks by. Look at that face. That is the face of a modern-day Casanova. He knows how to woo the ladies. Apparently, apparently better than most people because he's got chicks fighting over him. There have been a lot of developments that have recently occurred regarding our boy Jared. I'd like to go over some because the girls decided they wanted to get their side of the story out by, uh, you know, uh, giving people an inside look, letting people get uh, a deep, dark look into the world of Nintendo gangbangs. <laughs> I don't know. How would you describe it? I, you know, I don't know how many Luigi costumes and Yoshi costumes were involved, but probably some wild shit. Somebody sniffed a Yoshi egg. I'm going to I'm gonna put money down that that probably happened. And we're going to read about it. Now, where to start? Where do we start with something like this? I guess I could give a brief summation of what happened last time in case you missed that stream. Pro Jarrett, a uh, YouTuber with over a million subscribers on his channel, uh, ran into a bit of an issue when he decided to block his wife on Twitter and announce they were getting a divorce. Did not go over well, but he, he told people, hey, I want you to speculate to your heart's content about what's going on. I'm fine with it. Come to your own conclusions. So his wife decided to follow up by releasing a statement talking about all sorts of shit. As it turned out, he was having an affair with somebody uh, that was, uh, you know, with the information that's come out, was married at the time to somebody else. Uh, we'll get into that later on, but fucking around behind her back. Uh, sending nudes to his fans, getting nudes in return. As the story kind of progressed, we found out that there were two uh, teenagers alleging that he was sending nudes and re you know receiving nudes from them. Uh, so lots of lots of shit going on. Normal Boots released a statement saying they were discontinuing their business relationship with Jared based on the email sent to him by a 16-year-old, a self-identified 16-year-old. Again, this is all uh, speculation. I don't know the people involved, so I can't tell you how accurate it is. But that started a free fall, and in the span of 24 hours, Jared went way under a million subs. He lost 100,000, followed quickly by the very next day loss of 50,000 subs. Not looking good. That is not, that's not what we call winning. That is the definition of getting fucked in your ass. And so Jared kind of slinked off. Nobody really heard from him. He kind of disappeared. And then, you know what? I know the perfect place to start. Let me get this queued up. We'll start it with the uh, the very first statement that he made after his "Hey guys, just a quick update. I'm divorcing my I'm divorcing my wife on Twitter.com. Really smart move, Jared. Can't stress enough how big boy intelligence that was. Uh, let me see if I have got this set up right. Uh, one second here. You know, what? Uh, good enough. Good enough. We're looking at Jared's account right now. Uh, this is the first tweet in question. Uh, there we go. From Jared. Now, this is two days after his announcement. I won't be able to make it to the descent this year, but I hope everyone attending has a great time. Good to, good, uh, good idea. Let everybody know, hey, I can't attend the event. My life is literally on fire right now. Uh, half the internet is mocking the size of my penis. Uh, women are talking about my sexual acts. Children have seen, <laughs> seen pictures of my joystick. Couldn't get much worse. Not going to be able to attend this year. Hope you understand. Have to turn down that RSVP invitation. <laughs> he got shit on so hard in the fucking responses. Pretty great. Pretty fucking amazing. But, you know, he just, he, he needed to take a few days. Our boy needed a few days to really gather himself up to release a, a public statement that people could appreciate. He'd get his side out. You know, he needs to be heard. So let's, here's his, his real statement. This is seven days after the, hey, I'm not going to be able to make it, uh, I ruined my own life post. And uh, this is his statement, just posted up. I'll read it to you. We'll see what Jared had to say on the whole uh, fiasco. I am deeply sorry to anyone who has seen the accusations of vitriol or unwanted photos that my former partner Heidi and others have posted online since last Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. I find it very interesting. Let me just interject here that he specifically names the date. I feel a lawsuit coming on 
I feel like there's a lawsuit getting ready to be made. The way he wrote that makes me think that somebody's getting sued. The truth is that Heidi and my marriage has been in a bad place for some time, and I never wanted any of those details to become public for both Heidi and my mental well-being. But they have, and the accusations being made now must be addressed. A few years ago, Heidi asked me if we could be in an open, polyamorous marriage. I, <laughs> I recognize now this request and my willingness to go along with it was an unhealthy attempt to solve deeper issues that had developed within our marriage. Heidi has taken several casual partners and has been in a more serious relationship with another partner since 2017. Whether done to make her own actions feel justified or because she genuinely believed it would help me build self-esteem, Heidi suggested I also engage with other women. Heidi encouraged me to tell Holly that I was developing feelings for her. When I did, things changed with Holly or Heidi. She became angry and vindictive, did not want to see me or speak with Holly anymore. She called me a cheater and claimed that I was destroying our marriage because of my affair, even though she continued to have other relationships with other partners. I never wanted to destroy our marriage, and I spent months after that doing what I could to repair it through couples therapy and extensive individual therapy. Those close to me have witnessed Heidi's behavior towards me on many occasions and have begged me to leave for some time. I was many things during this time, including embarrassed, scared, and broken, but I was never the abuser. I made several attempts to leave starting in October 2018, but each time she refused to let it happen, threatening to destroy my career and to harm others if I left. Despite all of this, I tried to end things amicably. I helped Heidi find a new place to live and paid the initial deposit. I bought her a car to facilitate her independence. I formally filed for divorce on May 13, 2019, and have instructed my attorneys to make sure she receives her fair share of... Wait a minute. He filed for divorce May 13, 2019. His divorce announcement was May 8th. So, let me get this straight, Jared. Another part of your big-brained ideas here. You want to announce your fucking divorce before you file for it. That's smart. I think that's a good idea. You know, nothing is uh, smarter for a man in a situation where he's about to get divorced than giving the wife a heads up that shit's coming down. <laughs> you know, I wanted to piss her off really good and then file for divorce. I thought that's how you handle things. And have instructed my attorneys to make sure she receives her fair share of what I have earned while we were together. I genuinely never wanted any of this to happen. But I finally realized that I have no other choice. Even though I've been tempted to put information out online that shows my side of the story. I don't want to further stroke the fires of what would be a private matter between us. My hope is that both of us continue to pursue therapy. And come out of the unfortunate situation better people. But I want everyone to know that any other interaction I may have had with any other women were known to and encouraged by Heidi and were had only with the purest and lawful intentions. I am sorry to everyone that I have disappointed. I realize that as a public figure, I am held to a higher standard. Dude, you do Let's Plays on YouTube. <laughs> Here you, you review Nintendo games. Let's back it up a little bit. Uh, I realize that as a public figure, I am held to a higher standard. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have only ever tried to do what's best for Heidi and for me. Oh, that was that was our boy's that was our boy's statement. He really had to think about it for a while. Had to think about it for a while. You know, I, before we even get into the good shit, I just want to say again, this guy is handicapped. Okay, uh, divorces his wife. I I don't even understand the thought process. <laughs> you you block her on Twitter. Then announce you're getting divorced before you've even filed for divorce. Then you file for divorce a week later after she's explained to everybody that basically you can't keep your dick in your pants. I, I think maybe you might have miscalculated. I also think based on that statement and uh, how factually specific it was, there's probably a lawsuit coming. Maybe it's a... Uh, well, you know, I don't even want to spoil it. If I, if I even give you a hint as to what I'm thinking is going to happen, I'm going to spoil the fun stuff. And the fun stuff is coming up right next. Sadly, the last time I did one of these streams, I had a little bit of prep time. I was reading this for about an hour, but holy shit, these girls have just dumped everything. So we're going to read through it. First would be the side chick, Holly. 
Now, Holly's got, uh, well, she's got her side of the story. She wants to get it out there, get the truth heard. It's important to her. But first, before we hear about the poor state of Jared and the things that have been done to him, according to Holly, let's uh, take a look at the da- <laughs> let's take a look at the damage done. Oh, hold on one second. Let me. I had I have a perfect song to go along with this, and I think it's it's important. It's it's important to play this fucking music while we watch this. There we go. Rip and pepperoni, pro Jared. Let's take a look at the damage done to this man. Oh, look at all that red, chat. Can I get an F in chat for this man's career? <laughs> look at it! Oh, it's just death. Oh, all oh, that red. Oh, you know, rip and pepperoni, buddy. I think I think we're going to take a minute just to let the music build the emotion so we understand what our boy's going through. Poor Jared. Rip Jared's career forever. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers. The body I've lost. The comrades I've lost won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm gonna make him give back our past. Oh, it's real emotional. Really gets me. Really gets me down deep, chat. Oh, <laughs> I can feel it in my soul, chat. Okay. But so we're, we're caught up. All right. I've given you the backstory on Jared. I told you what's happened. I gave you his statement. Now it's time to get into the fun stuff. Holly has decided to release her side of the story, uh, which is, I guess, in an effort to, cor- to corroborate Jared's side. Uh, Holly, if you remember, would be uh, the lady he was cheating with. And apparently she was cheating on her husband as well at the time. Tragically, uh, they divorced. I guess the husband didn't want to be a cuck. But uh, let's read through. Quite a lot of, uh, a very large statement. Multiple tweets. Multiple fucking, thousand fucking tweets. But we're going to read through it. There's some good shit buried in here. And let's let's see who we believe out of this trio of amazing people. <laughs> who do we believe? Okay. This is from Holly's Twitter account. You can see two hours ago this all started going to really um, read from the very beginning we're going to go through here for the past year i've been trying to help someone i care about leave an abusive relationship i'm telling my story with the receipts i can legally share with no hate no vindictiveness i just need to bring the truth to light regarding heidi and jared these tweets are not meant to spread hate so please don't use them to bully either of them what i've experienced for the past 10 days i do not wish on anyone I encourage you to spread healing instead of hate. She wants you to spread healing, chat, like she spread her legs. I'm sorry, Holly, I gotta throw it in there. You save them from an abusive relationship by giving them blowjobs. Help! Help! Hey, Internet, help! I'm in trouble! Somebody come save me! Come suck my dick! (laughs) Jim's in trouble! Uh, I've not spoken out sooner, because on May 9th, I checked myself into a hospital... Because I was having a self-harming thought. I'm not ashamed of this. At all. It was the right thing to do and I was safe there. It's okay to ask for mental health help when you need it. I heard about Keemstar's coverage while in the hospital. and made this in art therapy. You have to be able to laugh at some aspects of a crisis. Fun fact. uh, While she was in lockup in the psych ward. uh, They didn't let her have access to paints. So that is human fecal matter. She, she, she made this game star sign out of poop. <laughs> so, uh, doctors were very confused. Who's Keemstar? I th- is she is she hallucinating? Is she hearing voices? Does Keemstar speak in your head, Holly? Look at me. We're here to help you, Holly. It's going to be okay. Before going forward, I want to make this clear that I do not approve of any influencer exchanging nudes with fans. This behavior is an abuse of power, and that is never okay. Pro Jared made poor decisions. 
That is the understatement of the century, Holly. That said, I've seen relevant receipts which prove that Pro Jared confirmed the consent and ages of those individuals he interacted with. These, accusa er, these accusations have legal ramic ramifications for all involved. And for that reason, no one can comment on them or share information publicly. I think one thing to note before we move on here, because she's bringing this up, and Jared touched on it a little bit. We'll get a picture of our boy up there. Jared touched on it a little bit in his statement when he said that uh, he was hitting on women legally, which I think was his about a roundabout way of talking about this. And Holly's saying she has receipts. Well, here's the thing I find interesting. Um, there was no direct response to the accusation by two self-proclaimed teenage girls and boys. I, I don't know what they are. He, she, him, hers, her, she's, whatever you want to fucking call them. But two, two teenagers that said they exchanged nudes and had sexual conversations with Jared. Now, Holly's saying she's got receipts. Well, Holly, I hope for your sake they really aren't underage, because if pro Jared showed you nudes of kids, you're fucked too. <laughs> that's going to be, that's going to make your day like 10 times worse. I don't know why you would tweet that out. Not something I would have recommended, but I'm not, I'm not a lawyer. What do I know? Maybe Nick Ricade is like, fuck it, fuck it, Holly. Look at all the kitty porn you want. What are they going to do? Get a gun. You can take them. Okay. So, uh, but it didn't address it. Again, I say self-proclaimed, self-identified. I don't know how old these two people are. All I know is they sent emails out to Normal Boots of, with their accusations. And Normal Boots released a statement saying they had been looking into it and had cut and severed business ties with Pro Jared. Now, from my perspective, that would make me think that Normal Boots got nervous when they looked into it, and maybe they were thinking, okay, they're kids, they're teenagers, whatever, uh, we need to cut and run. So I don't know what kind of receipts Holly has seen. I don't know if these, if these people are like, hey, hey, Jared, wink, wink, I know it says I'm 16, but here's my fucking driver's license, state ID, and my birth certificate. <laughs> Put them next to my tits so you know I'm really what I say I am. It's all, it's just play pretend on the internet, Jared. I'm really 18. Look at my perky tits and my birth certificate. Here's my social security card. You can trust me. Please send me a picture of your, your joystick, Jared. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay. I just want you to keep that in the back of your head as we go forward. Because that's one thing people have danced around. I've heard a lot of talk about open relationships and cucking and a bull's life and all that shit. But everybody keeps wanting to just not address the whole teenagers thing. So uh, we'll, we'll just keep it in mind as we move ahead. Anyway, she's saying, hey, don't, don't exchange notes. It's wrong. And I've got receipts proving that everybody was of age. This makes it difficult to speak out. Please know that I do not expect everyone to believe me. But it's not justice to treat every accusation as a conviction. Oddly enough, people can lie on the internet and omit information. P.S. If you are a consenting adult who swaps nudes with another consenting adult, then posting those nudes on the internet without consent, that's called revenge porn, which is a felony in 48 states. I, this plays right back into his statement. The, the way that was worded, his statement really makes me think he's going to sue. And now look what she's saying. Hey, if you, if you post nudes of a, uh, of a spouse or a partner without their consent, if you're swapping nudes and you're posting them, it's a felony. I'm going to bet money right now Jared's going to be suing somebody or filing criminal charges on somebody. Whether that's Heidi or another person he sent dick pics to, I don't know. But don't be surprised if that happens in the next week. It seems like he and Holly are setting the groundwork for that. In early 2018, Heidi and Pro Jared, or Heidi told Pro Jared she wanted to explore his feelings for me. She was enjoying the advantages of an open relationship, including a long-term boyfriend, and wanted Jared to do the same. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm already... Pff, Chad, I'm confused. Maybe I misread something. Let me go back here. Let me go back. I am a foolish man. Maybe I misread something. But I'm noticing an inconsistency. Let me see where we are. Let me see where we are. Where are we? Maybe... I think it was earlier. Uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, Holly said 2017, but Pro Jared says 2018. Uh, 
yeah, I, I don't know. That's that's or I'm sorry. Uh, Holly said 2018. Pro Jared said 2017. That's a bit of I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a small inconsistency. I don't know. We'll continue reading on. Probably reading too much into it. Let's get to the fun stuff. Okay, explore his feelings. She was enjoying the advantages of an open relationship, including a long-term boyfriend, and wanted Jared to do the same. You heard it here first, folks. Heidi wanted pro Jared to have a long-term boyfriend. <laughs> Does that... Sh anybody shocked by that? Hey, hey I, I know. I know how they're wording it, but I'm just telling you, a man that dresses like this probably wouldn't be too offended if his, if his spouse or uh, significant other said, Hey, we need to get you a boyfriend. We need to get you... Hey, pretty girl. We need to get you a man, a, a lover, a stud. On February 7th, 2018, Pro Jared took me on a walk. Despite having Heidi's full permission to do more, all we did was talk about our feelings. Jared and I were transparent about our discussion with both Heidi and all others involved with the situation. You mean like your husband? <laughs> your husband? I don't know when Pro Jared started having feelings, but I didn't realize that I had them at all. Until then, it was like being pushed into ice water. I've talked about being asexual for years. I've never expected to have feelings, and it was terrifying. Even though Pro Jared and I had a long-standing professional and platonic relationship, Heidi never wanted us to speak again. She became extremely jealous and vindictive. Both Jared and I were scared of her. They were, <laughs> they were terrified of the cosplaying elf. Heidi was so angry... I wanted Jared to reassure me that she had consented. He sent me this screenshot. If it makes it easier for you, I will quietly go into the bedroom. You have full permission to do anything you want, and I'm fine. And will continue to be fine. Now, here's an interesting thing. They're talking about how you can't, you know, share private... How do you know that... Uh, how do you... He could have made the screenshot himself, right? I mean, it's <laughs> just like... A, a... Women are stupid, so let's take it from the perspective of a guy looking at this. Dude is married to a woman. He wants to fuck another chick. The other chick's like, I'll, I'll suck your dick, but I need to make sure your wife won't hate me for it. And the dude's like, oh, give me a minute, man. Just give me a minute. Runs into the house and jumps on fucking Adobe Photoshop, whips this shit up, and is like, dude, look, look. She's like, you should totally fuck my husband. My husband, he's the best fuck you're ever going to have. And then we can go shopping together and have Thanksgiving dinner. No, totally fuck him. You've got my permission. Here it is. I'm saying it in, I'm saying it in writing. If it makes it easy, this is allegedly from Heidi. If it makes it easier for you, I will quietly go to bed without interrupting. I'm only trying to help, not upset in the least. I've actually been super productive tonight ever since talking to you. I like transparency. I'm also rooting for you. I... It's a very bizarre thought to think of a woman cheering you on fucking her husband. Oh, and you have my full permission to do anything you want to. P.S. If you decide to stay in the guest room, that doesn't mean you have to bang or anything. I never thought Dath and Strix would be the type to do it right away anyway. Who the fuck are Diath and Strix? They're using the code words. These are their fucking convention names. What anime are these two from, I wonder? But you know them better than me. Don't worry about me and do what works. I'm fine and will continue to be fine. <laughs> Please respond if you can. I'm sorry. I. Uh, <laughs> what? Hey, just wanted to let you know, I want you to fuck my husband. Are, are you there? Please, anybody? Hello? Academics? <laughs> Academics, please respond. I need you to fuck my husband. It's important. Academics, please. Please, please straddle my husband. He needs, he needs, he needs a dicking badly. You don't know what it's like playing Nintendo games your entire life. Oof. Oof. It's everything, okay? Okay, wish you would have texted me, but good night anyway. And then there's a response. Sorry, we went for a walk with lots of soul searching. Wait a minute. To reassure me that she had consented, he sent me this screenshot. Sorry, you went for a walk with lots of soul searching. Okay, so that's that's coming from him. I tried apologizing multiple times to Heidi. I tried gifts and words, but nothing was enough for her. I wasn't even sure what I was apologizing for. I just wanted to make her feel better and not angry. But there was nothing I could do or say. Maybe because she never wrote that. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe this dude did. And then you walk up to this chick, and she has no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Is you're like, hey, I just want, I just wanted to thank you for letting me fuck your husband. <laughs> no wonder she was mad. She continued to be enraged. I conveyed to her that I was happy just to be friends and professional colleagues with Jared. Her response was a fit of rage. Later in February 2018, she called me from Jared's number and howled, I want my husband to think of me, not you, during sex. What? Oh, I just, you know, again, if you if you exist on the internet in any capacity, especially if it's semi-professional, if you're making some money on YouTube, if you're a Twitch person, whatever, don't have a relationship where you put this, these people are insane. <laughs> They're all insane. Don't publish your fucking private shit online. It's stupid. I want my husband to think of me and not you during sex. I God, I wish there was a sound clip of that. Even though Jared and I had not been physical at all, Heidi called me from Jared's phone and screamed. I asked her what she wanted me to do, telling her I'd do anything to help her feel better. All she did was scream, go away! <laughs> home wrecker, go home! Get out, you get out of here! You filthy whore! I want, I want my big dick husband, the man in the pretty dress, I want him to... Uh, this is my man! <laughs> get your own man, slut! <laughs> go away! Oof. I hung up on her in fear and texted Pro Jared that he needed to leave this abusive relationship. After experiencing her wrath, I turned my concern to Jared's safety. At this point, I knew communicating with her wouldn't work. Jared and I went a long stretch of time, afraid to communicate outside of our D&D &D game. Heidi openly fantasized about ruining our D&D &D show, because it meant so much to us. She would use this to control him. He would send me, again, he would send me texts when, she, er, when he was scared. So, <sighs> he's sending you all of these. these are, so far, we haven't come across one text from her to Holly. Again, let's, let's see what it says. I'll talk to her later today. I don't want to keep seeing you suffer. Please don't do anything drastic. Because, at least, that would feel like less of an insult to my dignity than staying quiet and pretending nothing's wrong, which is what I've been doing for weeks. Okay, I think I would take it to blank before the general public, to be quite honest. It would be highly embarrassing and unprofessional for everyone. Like, at this point, I'm fantasizing about sabotaging the game. So bear that in mind. I'm going crazy, Jared. Would be a bummer to destroy everything you've built. But it would be way more of a bummer to destroy myself by putting up with your shit. Please, allow talks to happen. You're right that this has gone on for far too long and she probably wasn't going to do shit. I'm going, I'm going fucking mental, Jared. Don't make him. That's an awfully nice thing you have, Jared. Be ashamed if something happened to it. Oh, okay, where are we? I'm ready to go down with the ship, to be honest. I cannot live like this. Sorry. I can't talk on the phone right now. Sound people and trying to figure out fights and carry food. Okay. I'm falling apart, LOL. And my phone is at 16%. Cool. Fuck me. Man, I wish I could destroy dice camera action. That would feel so good. That would suck for you, but it would be really unfair. I don't know. I probably sound really cruel right now, but this is a result of weeks of suffering. I'd love to see someone who caused this situation experience a fraction of what I've been feeling. <laughs> oh, dude. Don't fuck... Let's just... You know, another, we're going to give you another another little bit. Let me put up the trending pic. There we go. That's that's from Jared's fucking nightmare earlier on. Another a little piece of advice from Uncle Jimmy. Uh, don't fuck crazy. Uh, if you stick your dick in crazy, your life's going to go down the drain. Jared's really, he's made a lot of bad decisions so far. Uh, one, sending pictures of your penis to anyone on the internet, that would be a big mistake. Uh, blocking and divorcing your wife on Twitter, another big mistake. Announcing your divorce before filing for the divorce, another big mistake. And finally, fucking crazy women and letting them talk to each other while you're doing it. Ballsiest thing you could do, totally insane, don't know why you would ever think that's going to work out. <laughs> you don't, you don't, if you're saying your wife is crazy, and your side hoe is crazy, and you're fucking them both, and then you're letting them talk to each other, you may as well just buy a noose and kick a chair, right? Because you're fucked either way. Uh, so don't stick your dick in crazy. Not a recommended, <laughs> recommended approach if you want to live a sane, happy fucking life. <laughs> what a stupid motherfucker this guy is. Uh, Jared, I'd like to, re I'd like to recommend 
that you go read Black Twitter. All right? I think Black Twitter can give you some sound advice for some side pussy. Yeah, they've got a good sense of humor about it, and I, I think maybe they could steer you in the right direction because your dumb ass is just making critical mistakes at every moment. <laughs> I'm going to let the chick I'm cheating with talk to my wife. What could go wrong? Real smart. Big brain shit coming from Jared today. Uh, not wanting the marriage. Oh, okay. Not wanting the marriage and her control to end. Heidi constantly threatened Jared, saying that she would ruin him, publicly accuse him of being a cheater and being an abuser if he went through with the divorce. Sorry, I had to cough there. Got a little bit of a cold. Jared, I've been very patient, and I'm telling you all this instead of acting on it because I'm still exercising patience, but I need things to start happening. I know more than you ever should be, or I know more than you ever should have had to. Like, I really need it? I don't know how to make that any clearer. I am desperate. That makes me dangerous. I'm ready to start ruining all of our lives. Okay, I understand. I will try. I'm sorry I couldn't do more while I'm here, but I will do anything I can. I mean this. it has been weeks of inaction. Not a few days, but okay. I hope you can come home today, because also dangerously close to contacting her again myself. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Again, these are alleged conversations between Jared and his wife that he has screenshotted and sent to his side chick, where she's basically like, hey, I'm going to fucking burn your room down. I'm going to take all your little gay Nintendo games. I'm going to fucking drive over them with our Jeep. I'm going to drive over your gay little Nintendo games with our Jeep, Jared. And then I'm going to tear my clothes off and shit in the lawn. And when the neighbors ask me why I've gone batshit insane, I'm going to tell them my husband's fucking a whore. Jared, is that what you want to come home to? Maybe you should get home. Oh, are you busy right now? Oh, I'm sorry to tell you that collectible Mario statue. Uh, looks like somebody took a fucking sledgehammer to it, Jared. Don't fuck with me. I'm insane. Brilliant. This is bad in a thousand. Pro Jared's fans witnessed Heidi's abuse. They watched Heidi scream at Jared at parties, at conventions, on planes, and in his own home. There was more than one intervention to encourage him to separate from her. They were scared for Jared's safety. Okay, hold on a second. Well, yeah, I just, I'm going to put this picture back up. Uh, do either of these women look scary to you? Okay, do either of these two look like they could do any physical harm to you, aside from cry and maybe tell people about your penis on Twitter.com? Aside from that, <laughs> these two, I, you could fight them off with one arm. It'd be like some old cartoon, like a windmill punching at you as you just hold her at length. They're like five foot nothing. <laughs> what are they going to do? she going to use her fucking foam Nerf bow from her cosplay to attack you? He's scared for his safety. She's obviously she's obviously very dangerous. She threatened to use the Master Sword from her Zelda cosplay to cut his penis off. I mean, sure, it's made of rubber, but she'd find a way to make it work. After four attempts to separate, involving all kinds of therapists and lawyers, Heidi only agreed to move out after she illegally obtained pictures and texts that she could use as leverage for her revenge campaign against Jared and myself. Well, shit, Holly, I'm, I guess I'm going to have to ask, if she's illegally obtaining these conversations and pictures, aren't you doing the exact same thing by posting these conversations and pictures that Jared took pictures of and gave to you? Like, like what do you mean? She illegally obtained, the, or obtained them from her husband? Jared did not divorce Heidi on Twitter. Uh, Heidi made the first post regarding the relationship ending, and it was full-on false information. Jared wanted to keep this pr a private matter, we were terrified of Heidi, or Heidi based on her numerous threats and extortion. That's not true. From the very first stream, you can even see the time dates. Uh, Jared made his announcement, and two hours later, Heidi, or Heidi responded. Made the first post regarding the relationship ending. I Where? That I mean, that's legitimately not true, right? Am I crazy, chat? Uh, you got to help me out here. I could go digging for it, but... These chicks tweet so much, we'd be scrolling for like an hour. But I'm fairly certain, didn't she respond after he had uh, blocked her and announced the divorce on Twitter? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Well, yeah, I guess we can dig that up later. I don't know. There's so much to read, so bear with me. On May 7th, 2019, Heidi moved into her new home and made the following post on Facebook. Maybe this is what she's talking about. She accused Jared of cheating on and abusing her in front of all our mutual friends, 
family, and our professional colleagues. She was the first one to make a public statement. Okay, she's clarifying. So on Facebook, she made a statement. I recently discovered that my husband, Jared, has been cheating on me for many months. He lied to me extensively on many occasions, going so far as to blame me for being suspicious and making me feel like a bad person by questioning his loyalty. Turns out my gut was right. I have some extremely explicit proof. The other, women, or the other woman is another popular YouTuber. I think this is in line with what she said on Twitter. We don't need to reread the whole thing. It sounds very similar, but she's saying she posted this first on Facebook, Jared announced his divorce, and then Heidi followed up two hours later. When pro-Jared responded to Heidi's Facebook post neutrally, she enacted the vengeance she's been planning for a long time. She lied about not being Polly and approving of the nudes. She slut-shamed me. She did not mention her long-term boyfriend or threats. A long-term boyfriend? Oof. We were walking around the con and a girl asked me for a photo. So we just did a basic pose. Then she was like, can it be a pairing photo? Anyway, that made my day blank forever. Yes. May, er, wants to watch... Okay. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. Wants wants to watch me suck your monster dong. Good morning. I, I don't know whose name that is, but so-and-so wants me to uh, wants to watch me suck your monster... You know, we need to have a conversation. Last time I did one of these streams, I got so many motherfuckers yelling at me. I said Jared has a small penis. And so many people got very fucking angry at me for saying that. I stand by that statement. And if these women think that he has a monster cock, give me your phone number. <laughs> because I'm apparently a fucking stallion. <laughs> I don't know where these girls... This must be the first penis they've ever interacted with. Both of these innocent, snow-driven, pure virgins. Probably never seen a porn video. <laughs> monster dong. The amount of people out there. Oh, he's got a... That's not a small dick, Jim. What are you talking about? You're all insane. This dude... This dude would be embarrassed in a junior high locker room to take his shorts off. These women, I don't know what they're talking about. If you've seen the joystick picture or the real thing, you should have a basic idea. <laughs> Monster dong! Look at this motherfucker! <laughs> what is... What is going on? How is a guy that does Nintendo reviews, <laughs> fucking Let's Play videos, slaying this much pussy? How is he, how is he fucking this many women <laughs> and convincing them that he's got, like, Ron Jeremy's cock on him? <laughs> I don't understand. Is it mind control? Is he, is he like, fucking Houdini? <laughs> is he hypnotist? What is it? Oh, sorry, I just I need to put that out there. I keep seeing this come up, and I, I, I don't understand it. I don't know what the fuck you people are talking about. Okay. What a coincidence. I want to watch you suck it, too. I love you. I'm having a great day today. I'll call you later. Are you busy at any particular time? Blank says he wants you to show me how to fuck me. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, guessing that's a dude's name. Dude says he wants you to show him how to fuck me. Maybe you could take turns passing me back and forth. How does that sound? How does that sound? No response. No response for two fucking hours. Now we're four hours later. Four hours later. It makes me really anxious when you look at my messages but don't respond. Considering the circumstances, I need your reassurance. Sorry. I'm okay. Just in a blah mood. I'm not getting much done. I just finished the walk. I wonder, I wonder what put him in a blah mood. Could it be the fact his alleged wife sent him a message saying, Hey, uh, the dude that's plowing my ass right now would really love for you to come by and watch his technique. Maybe you could give it a grade. He says he watches your YouTube videos, loves your review technique. How many out of ten would you give him for his technique when he has me spread eagle on the bed and his balls are slapping against my ass? <laughs> can you critique him? Maybe we can make it like a YouTube video be really fun for the fans highly interactive jared why aren't you responding please respond it's been four hours i'm starting to feel a little nervous here why is my husband upset that i want him to critique the man that's fucking me on facebook heidi called what she did a public execution of bro jared and it was incredibly hard for me to experience seeing the internet rally around jared's abuser to mercilessly harass both of us with no evidence beyond heidi's words it put me in a dark spot 
Uh, this is from the 17th. I, I, I'm assuming this is Heidi's Facebook. I don't know. I haven't looked at her Facebook, but I don't think Holly has a reason to lie about this. Uh, what am I super irrelevant? Ghost of Christmas past ex-boyfriends. Watch me publicly execute Jared and still thought he had an opening to send me a lame, poetic, fake, heartfelt message. Like we were, like we were going to do or have a nostalgic reconnection. We dated when I was 17. My private response to opening the message was, damn, I remember this guy cheating on me too. My direct response to him was, uh, through this, I learned to stop taking bullshit from condescending men. Goodbye. Pro Jared's friends, who knew the details of the abuse, had urged him to uh, leave bravely, spoke out to defend him, but were quickly vaporized by the one-sided, misinformed hate machine that Heidi had activated. Meanwhile, Heidi gloated on Facebook, bragging that she'd been retweeted by Perez Hilton, joking that Pro Jared was now more famous than ever because of her accusations and drinking white Zinfandel, adding insult to injury, she tried to steal his gold play button. Fantastic. I like this image of Heidi. Holly, you're doing a good job painting her as like a cartoonish Bond villain, sitting there stroking her cat, sipping on white Zinfandel with his stolen golden play button, laughing maniacally as his world burns to the ground. <laughs> She's cosplaying as pure evil. I could not, for the life of me, find Jared's gold play button. That's the plaque they sent out to people who crossed the 1 million subscriber threshold. I found a silver button, but not the gold one. I would have been the perfect thing to steal from him. Holy shit. Because if he asked about it, I could say, Oh, God damn, this, that's fucking harsh. It'd be the perfect thing to steal from him, because if he asked, I could say, What million subscribers? Anyway, I guess this is my confession of innocence. I didn't steal it, but I would have if I could. I kind of suspect now that he doesn't have one, because if I recall correctly, can I just say that is fucking vicious as shit? Like, I wanted to steal this award he got for hitting a million subs, but because I've destroyed his fucking life in the span of 24 hours, when he comes to confront me about it, I can be like, what subscribers, motherfucker? I kind of suspect now that he doesn't have one, because if I recall correctly, you have to manually request that they send one to you. Jared o or Jared's always been really weird about following through on that. Uh, even over something that should have been as exhilarating is gaining 1 million subs. Well, if it had been mundane, Matt, he'd have been on like or he'd have been on that like flies on shit. Anyway, if he didn't really follow through on requesting one, it's even more fitting that, uh, than me stealing it. Once again, falling prey to his own folly. Maybe he was too busy taking dick pics with my closet vanity lighting. <laughs> I, for, I thought for a second we we're getting in trouble. I thought that was a picture of his dick. It's some weird furry cosplay. Some kind of fucking, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't, what are you, penis mitten. I don't know what you'd call it. Perez Hilton retweeted me. I whisper in his little fuzzy ear. He doesn't give a shit. All right, let's continue going. If Heidi truly felt that she had to flee her abuser, would she ever go back to the house of the person she claims abused her? Jared paid for movers, and they'd already finished by then. Survivors typically avoid their abusers out of real fear, the way Jared has, and I have. Leaving an abuser in difficult, or leaving an abuser is difficult. It takes survivors on average of seven times to leave for good. The months pro Jared tried to separate from Heidi were excruciating. I was worried about him all the time. He was broken and I was powerless, barely able to even talk to him. Beyond the satisfaction of revenge, Heidi received 100,000 new Twitter followers by publicly and falsely accusing me of ruining their marriage and labeling Pro Jared as an abuser. She began using the attention from the crisis to promote herself. I do believe that's true. She did gain like 100 to 110,000 uh, subscribers on Twitter and I think like 20,000 on YouTube. Uh, from Heidi, number five in the United States, baby, said I made him more famous than he's ever been before. Honestly, yeah. This is an insanely positive outcome to a horrible situation that I couldn't predict. I don't know if it'll last. I don't know if it'll last me the rest of my life or whatever, but I'm definitely going to savor it. Another one from Heidi on May 9th. I genuinely, or genuinely did not expect this to be my day. I figured his friends would defend him, his fans would hate me, and it would finally be over. The being over part was what I was really looking forward to. Uh, if you want a recap, you can read about it in Newsweek. For anyone worried, I'm chilling in bed with my cat. I've got some white Zinfandel, a sandwich, and a new TV. I'm going to be fine. The experience has fundamentally changed my relationship to the Internet. I'm still here, still putting myself out there. 
but it's never going to be the same. Heartfelt thanks to everyone who didn't comment cheater and whore <laughs> on my post. Big thanks to all you tweet hearts who stuck by me. You waited so patiently as I recovered and processed enough to be able to tell my side of the story. I appreciate and love you all. And that would be, that's, that is the, those are, I should say, the statements that Holly has put up. So what are we looking at? Oh, sorry, chat, let me light a cigarette. Oh, I need a smoke after that one. Story initially breaks. Uh, so this is what I do know. Jared did block his wife. He did put up the divorce statement. Now, she's showing screen caps saying that Heidi was talking about it first on Facebook. Maybe that's true. I really don't know. But I do know on Twitter she didn't respond until after the divorce announcement. All this information comes out. Now, Holly's talking about why, you know, all these people sided against Jared. Why would they do that? Because a lot of what Heidi was saying was he's interacting with his fans and sending out dick pics. And then a flood of people all started posting his dick pics, like a bunch of women did. And I think as bad as that looked, maybe it could have been shuffled around a little bit. But then you had people that were claiming to be 16 and 15 year old, or years old that were hanging out on his secret tumblers, uh, blogs, and other fucking websites saying that they were exchanging nudes with him and that he was cool with it. That, I think, was the, that was like the point of no return. I think once people saw, you know, teenagers accusing him of it, uh, things really went tits up for him. And I think, it, you know, all these women coming forward and showing all these dick pics of our boy here, the one that you all, for whatever reason, keep saying has a monster dick. <laughs> You're all insane, by the way. That's when things went, that's when things went south. Now, Holly's response to all of that is, uh, their marriage was bad for years. For years, it was terrible. Jared was uncomfortable. He was unhappy. He didn't want to be in the marriage anymore. Apparently, he was the cuck initially with Heidi having other long-term relationships and trying to get him to be into other long-term relationships. Had casual, I guess, fuck buddies. Had a long-term boyfriend on the side. Tried to convince him to do it. Said, go fuck Holly for whatever reason. Holly and Jared uh, started up a relationship. And then Heidi got very jealous and very fucking angry. And it went into a crazy spiral where Jared finally just called it off and announced publicly he was going to get a divorce. And all this shit behind the scenes, all these messages she's claiming are, are real, which, again, I'd like to state, are screen caps that Jared sent her. You know, if she's talking... Uh, here's what I find weird, Holly. Like, if you're talking to Heidi, then you two have each other's phone numbers. You're texting to each other, too, right? Put up some text of you two talking, not shit Jared sent you. But that's that's an aside. So, <laughs> so who's cucking who? Like, what's, who's the cuck here? Somebody, somebody's getting cucked. Somebody's doing the cucking. You know, was it Heidi initially cucking Jared? Did Jared secretly cuck Heidi and make up fake messages to convince Holly to fuck him? This is like some kind of daytime soap opera. How could you not want to follow this shit? <laughs> what is going on? Why, why, why are you people doing this publicly? That's probably a really good question, I think. Terrible decision to put out your sex lives and your relationships online. Everybody's going to laugh at it, regardless of which direction it's going to go. <laughs> you know, actually, I think I have a song that really, you know, I, this, God, I, I love this song, and I finally have a fucking excuse to use it in context. Oh, God. Let's, uh, let's put this up. Oh, I hope I can find the right one. Yep, here we go. On the question of who's cucking who, here we go. We got to find Now what do we do? I see you, Chad. I see you exploding. Everybody's screwing Jim. 
Got to go check out. Got to go check out Heidi's. I'm I'm planning on it. Let's let's go do that now. Well, apparently Heidi's throwing up. I'm guessing her side of the story. So let's let's take a look at it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So let's uh, let me let me scroll down and see where this is all starting. It looks like she's got it. Goddamn! <laughs> I wish you girls would make YouTube videos so it's easier to, <laughs> to digest all this shit. Uh, and yes, Chad, I see you, there's a lot of super chats. I will get I get I'll get to them at the end of the stream. Uh, but I, I, let's we've got a lot to dig through. So let's go take a look at Heidi's Twitter and see what her side of it is. We've heard Jared's. Well, we've heard Heidi's and we've heard Jared's and we've heard Holly's. And now Heidi's got a response. So let's go read it. Let's see what we got. Uh, I think it believe I'm going to say it starts about here. As far as my supposed long term boyfriend goes. She's assuming a lot. During the time Jared and I explored polyamory, I was long-distance messaging someone in another state. I ended that myself when I told Jared that I needed to ask him for monogamy after he'd broken my trust. Okay, okay, all right, here. I'm sorry, Chad. Let's let's do it from here. Okay, Holly's Twitter uh, thread is full of lies. She's exaggerating and twisting details and taking Jared's word on a lot of stuff and running with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But most importantly, the heart of her argument is, I was just trying to help my friend leave his wife by having sex with him. As far as I can tell, the whole point of these posts is to make me look bad. She's not adding clarity to her decisions to uh, secretly sleep with a married man. She's just saying, look how awful his wife was. <clears throat> and then she goes into the, I had a, uh, a boyfriend across state lines. I wanted to leave that person out of this because it's super irrelevant. I took steps to be fully transparent with Jared, make sure he knew he was always my first priority, and that he could expect the truth from me. I never had anything to hide from Jared, period. Nothing I found on Jared's phone was illegally obtained. My lawyer, I uh, told you guys, I told you this is going to get crazy legal. My, uh, where are we? My lawyer assured me of that. It's community property, purchased during our marriage, unlocked in the house. I picked it up, discovered horrifically explicit proof of their ongoing affair, that they were lying about. They want to catch me on technicalities. Oh, you shouldn't have looked. I'm grateful I looked. If I hadn't looked, I would have left the marriage crushed, but the belief that what Jerry and Holly said about me is true. It's all their excuse for fucking. I never pretended to be blameless. What I did say uh, is that I made every effort to communicate with Jared and correct my mistakes. During the time, he was in uh, intensely gaslighting me lying to me and giving me the silent treatment every time I tried to have an earnest conversation. What Holly saw, and the rest of Jared's friends saw, was my frustration boiling over after days, weeks, months of silent treatment and neglect from Jared. He broadcast my frustrations and acted like they came from nowhere uh, to support his narrative that I'm a bad person. And that's exactly what Holly's doing right now. She's open up talking about how good her intentions are, then devolves into rambling mess about how I am a terrible person, and that the and that's the whole point. She's justifying her behavior with a smear campaign. Take that as you will. And I think she has some more responses. Let me let me see what we got here. All I want to get out of this, or all I, uh, all I want is to get away from these awful people and the reach of their social influence. I held my tongue about all of this until Jared stated publicly or started publicly gaslighting me with his initial divorce statement. He isn't entitled to secrecy for cheating on me. Neither is his mistress. I want to go back to posting cosplay and art. That's what I've been doing. The only reason I ever deviated from that was to defend myself from my abuser's public lies. They've been focused on discrediting me. I'm focused on breaking free and starting over. Uh, yeah, this was uh, my first ever initial attempt to be supportive. I discovered that they were not capable of being honest with me in spite of my unwavering support. That was deeply hurtful, so I stopped trusting them and asked, if, uh, asked it to stop. She's distracting you. What is? Can you elaborate on this conversation? Oh, well, there's your confirmation. I thought maybe those were fake messages Jared made up, uh, but she's confirming they are in fact real. So what Holly posted on her timeline is legit. This was after the aftermath of that night, when I tried to be supportive and they ignored me for hours. I went to bed sobbing, thinking Jared was hooking up with her without ever acknowledging me. Hey, Heidi. I'm so sorry for all the lost sleep and upsetting shit that happened this weekend. I want to apologize in any way I can for any shittiness I brought to you. I get so scared that you hate me, because you're so nice and pretty. <laughs> oh, God. 
you're like so nice and pretty. And like, I totes don't want you to be upset at me because I'm fucking your husband. And I know that's stupid, but that's why I was afraid to talk. And I know Jared has told you everything, so you know how fucked up I am, LOL. Uh, this says it's from Holly, I guess. I'm also sorry I didn't say bye, and I hope we can still talk more and still be friends. <laughs> can we? I, you know what's really important to me here? Uh, that we remain friends. Like, look, okay, I fucked your husband. I get it. A little bit upsetting, but if our friendship can survive me fucking your husband, I think we're, <laughs> I think we're on solid ground. Hey, Holly, I don't know if Jared told you this, but probably the only... Uh, well, it, it, it went somewhere else out there. Um, here's more, I guess, from Holly. I approached him earlier that day and insisted that he finally address the tension growing between you two because it was incredibly obvious to me, and I was tired of playing dumb being treated like I'm stupid. I intentionally stayed out of the way, gave you space to let things play out. I've been so open and supportive to Jared about all of this, and in return he has lied, denied, and left me hanging for hours without a word of acknowledgement. I literally don't know how I could have been any more accepting, and felt like he spat in my face about that. Every conversation I've had with him about this has been uh, because I brought it up at breakfast when neither of you oh, what is, when neither of you could bring yourselves to acknowledge what was going on to me even though we are clearly new I thought that was incredibly cowardly of both of you it's not my responsibility to address your actions I was left feeling like is this how you are treating me in the face of unwavering support how can I ever trust you to be straight with me I know it was an accident that you forgot the phones but it resulted in one of the most emotionally eviscerating experiences I've ever had. And nothing can change that. I went through this alone. I'm glad you weren't fucking without telling me. But I haven't been able to shake the raw betrayal. I'm really sorry. If there's anything I can do for you, please tell me. All I want is transparency. And honesty from you both. I'm going to need a lot more of what uh, than what either of you have given me so far. And you're right. I know that's what's happening now and that's made... Oh, I think we have one more here. And you're right. I know that's what's happening now, and that's made it a lot easier for me to process. And honestly, that's because you had bigger balls than either of us. And I'm just completely lacking in emotional experience. Anything you want to talk about or ask me, please do. I'll tell you whatever. I literally didn't know what any of this shit was until now. I'm so sorry it took me so long. Ugh. Okay. I, I, I make of that what you will. I, I I think we can follow along who's talking to who, but they're both they both have names with H in them, so I don't, I don't know who's talking to who on that specifically. I'm now in a position where the fact that I tried to embrace the idea of them being together is being used against me. Holly and Jared hurt me deeply. They both knew exactly how I felt about polyamory in the end. I asked them to stop and followed suit by ending my own relationship. They're scrambling to make it look like they had my permission to be together. Or that I somehow uh, am a hypocrite doing this or during the same time. No, I was straightforward with my expectations, and gave Jared the same respect. I honored him above all others. A response to somebody: the "I got scared you'd hate me because you're so nice and pretty" comment has haunted me since Holly sent it to me. I'm not so responsible for the insecurity she projects onto me. Being nice or pretty does not make someone hateful. I think that is. Uh, those are all the responses. I've been coping with humor. Okay. Looks like there's a few more here. Uh, when I asked him for clarification on how I was hurting him so that I could take a good hard look at myself and improve, he couldn't give me a straight answer beyond, you make me anxious. And finally, I was trying hard to take the action to address my own behavior. That's been my focus the entire time. I believe in that. Having him tell me, you just make me anxious in spite of my great efforts uh, to be loving, devastated me. That is a lot to digest. All right, Chad. I've I've talked for an hour now. Let me let me see what Chad thinks. Chad, you tell what the fuck is going on here? All these open relationships, polyamory, people cucking each other. He sheds or he said, she said, everybody's in an extra relationship. <laughs> it always ends in tears, doesn't it? Have, uh, can you name an open relationship that doesn't blow up like this at some point? <laughs> the internet just makes it a hundred times more public. Uh, yes, chat. This is a Kojima. This is a Kojima uh, idea. <laughs> it's, it's a plot for the next Metal Gear. <clears throat> right, lots of shit going on. Let's see. Uh, maybe Holly responded with something. We'll, we'll take a quick look at that. But I think that I think that brings us up to speed. 
I'm trying to make sure I read everything and give them both their fair shake. Uh, seeing a lot of people in chat saying degeneracy. Uh, perhaps, perhaps, chat. I don't know. This is a really bizarre fucking story. That it became so public, that it was handled so publicly, I think was a massive mistake. Second only, as far as mistakes go, to being in an open relationship. I don't know who fucking suggested it first. It sounds like Heidi. Uh, but a terrible decision. You can't take, uh, you know, your, your sacred vows with one another and then start fucking other people and not expect that everything is going to go tits up. People have a real hard time dealing with the emotional baggage and jealousy of watching the person they're married to having sex with somebody else. You both are idiots for even trying it. Now, as far as Holly goes, I don't, you, you were married at the time, weren't you? So, like, you're, you're, you're blowing up two relationships. You're blowing up your own relationship, and you're blowing up their relationship. And I'm just going to leave the name of the guy you were married to out of this, because I feel bad for him. I think everybody does. When this when this came out, and everybody was talking about it and putting together timelines, they felt bad for him. Because he seems like such a nice guy. But fuck if I know. Who knows what conversations are going on behind the scenes? Maybe every Maybe this whole group of people, it's like a cock carousel. Everybody's just taking a one once around. Let's everybody have a ride. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Terrible decision making at every step. Uh, Chad, he got cocked. Some people are saying vengeance. Uh, other people saying uh, Holly is a tard. I'm getting some Fs in here. Hopefully my stream didn't just go down. Not sure what's going on. F for degeneracy. I see. There we go. Well, we're caught up. I, I As the internet turns, I thought it was a fitting title because, again, this is like a fucking soap opera. I'm sure it'll keep expanding. Uh, I, I will say this. These are my predictions. I think Jared's going to sue somebody or report somebody to the police. Um, I think that... I, I don't know who that's going to be, if he's going to go after Heidi, his ex-wife. It just feels like there's... It feels like everybody's starting to talk in a legal manner. She's talking to a lawyer. He's talking to a lawyer. He's putting up statements that are worded in a way that makes me think somebody's getting sued. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if that happens in the next week or two. That somebody's getting a visit by the cops. That somebody's getting a... Su uh, uh, not a summons, but um, a civil suit slapped on them. Who knows? I think more DMs will leak. I mean, here, here's my suggestion as the guy that's sitting back laughing at this ridiculous shit. For what it's worth, Holly and Heidi. In for a penny, in for a pound, right? Like, I mean, if you're going to do it, Go balls deep. And I mean really balls deep. Not Jared balls deep where it's like two inches in. I'm talking like the full foot long fucking. If you're going to start dropping DMs, drop them all. Just go nuclear with it, girls. We'll, we'll read them. <laughs> and we'll all read them. And then we'll tell you whose side we believe. But fuck it. What do you have to lose? You should all just take your phones right now. Download every text message conversation you've had. And post it on Twitter for our amusement. I think, chat, do you agree with me on that? Should they do that? I think that's a smart decision. <laughs> I think that's the decision that they should be doing. I, yeah, chat's agreeing with me. At least that's what I'm telling myself. I'm saying that's what they're going for. A lot of John Tron ones in there. I see a chat. Boy, he's been, I, don't, I wonder what his reaction to this is. You know, I will say there are a lot of people on the sidelines that seem to have, or would seem to have, uh, you know, a reason to speak out about this, uh, because maybe they've been wronged in the past, but have been very adult about it. I think John Tron's one of them. Hasn't really, hasn't really taken any shots. He seems like a nice guy, doesn't he, Jared? Boy, John Tron seems like a really nice guy, huh? Uh, yeah, seeing a lot of people saying, just do it. Magnum, maximum donging. Heidi Holly, I think it's time for the maximum dong. You need to just upload all of this shit. <laughs> I bet you Keemstar would love it. I mean, he made him a sign, Holly. All right, and he, he appreciates that sign. I think you should send him every text message. Just fuck it. Just go for it. And Heidi, you can send all yours to me. And then Keem and I can compare notes. <laughs> That's how we can handle it. Okay. Well, I, I hope you've all enjoyed this. Um, again... You know, even regardless of how you view the exact outcome of 
of what these people are doing, I guess. <laughs> I could, at the very least, I could say you could use it as an example of what not to do in your relationship. I would think that, um, yeah, you know, you just take it as that. Even if you can't come to a solid conclusion on who, who you would blame, particularly for this happening, I just look at the situation and take away some key points. Don't have an open relationship. It's uh, the kiss of death. Nobody is mature enough to handle their partner fucking somebody else. I don't buy it. I don't think it's real. You will always be fucked up about it, and you will never stop thinking about it. And I bet you that was the entire time. Their relationship probably fell apart because of that. Because every time you look at your loved one, you're going to think, is the other person fucking them better? Does he have a bigger dick? Does she have a tighter pussy? That thought's always going to be in your head, and it's never going to go away. Did you come as hard with them as you do with me? Oh, what a quick way to kill a marriage. Just don't do it. And for the love of God, don't divorce people on social media. Horrible fucking decision as well. <laughs> I think I think you shouldn't probably be doing that, would be my, my suggestion for you. A terrible decision, but what do I know? Uh, let me update this. Uh, I, I know people have work and school in the morning. Uh, we've gone over the majority of this. I'm going to read the Super Chats now. Uh, yeah, not not a bad little stream. Just keeping everybody up to date on what the fuck is going on. Let me just update this so people know if they pop in. Some people like the Super Chats. Some people don't. Try to keep them in one section so you don't have to listen to them if you don't want to. I'm going to start reading them, responding. Continue the stream till we're done with them. Uh, but for everybody else that just wanted to hear a quick update, there's your update in the first hour. I went over it. Uh, I, I hope it was entertaining if for you as it was for me. <laughs> Ma what is it? What does she call it? Maximum dong? <laughs> oh, girls. Girls, you need to start dating other men if that's a maximum dong for you. Jesus. Uh, but for those of you that are going to cut out now, uh, have a good rest of your week have a good time at work at school whatever uh, for those of you sticking around let's let's go over the super chats and uh, we will see what's going on uh, by the way I have a big video going up on the 23rd and I also have a very large stream I'll be doing on the 23rd covering the elections in the UK of one specific candidate a big boy in a big suit uh, I don't want to spoil it too much but I think we're gonna have some fun but let's uh let's let's get through these chats all right, is everything set up here? I think we're good. We're good. From Autism Forums. Jim, have you ever watched the anime series The Jaguar on Netflix? I'm in four episodes in and liking it so far. I have never heard of it. So no, I have not watched it. Mexican-American male. Jesus is the original gamer because he was the one, uh, the first one to rise up. Hashtag NNRU. From Dominic Peluso. Just don't. Trevor travels the world. Did you see Tommy Robinson get attacked by a bunch of Muslims? The police escorted to the rally. Crusaders rise up. From Felixium, gas the bike's race car now. From Jay of the Decline, your milkshakes is not my culture. From Maximus Smith, who would win a, uh, who would win a world leader fighting tournament? <laughs> I, have, I have no fucking clue. I don't think uh, any leader can fight for shit. That's why they're in politics. <laughs> if they had any muscle mass, they'd be out uh, fucking bitches. That's, uh, that's my chauvinist opinion for you. From Autism Forums again, Beta Cuck needs to be put out for uh, <laughs> to be put out for Wisdom Tooth. LOL. Elizabeth Bathory, who'd win in a fight, pro or bro Jared or Andy Worski? I'm gonna go with Jared on this one. I think Andy would start screaming, "Stay back, stay back!" as somebody pulled a gun from about a hundred feet away. <laughs> Sorry, Andy, but um, yeah, I, I don't think I'd give that fight to you. Maximum Smith, uh, will we ever have a furry president? Well, Beta O'Rourke is running, so maybe. Down forward punch, we will defend ourselves. Aim, 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 you're going to get shot. From Veggie Bad, DSP and Jontron are getting drunk off of a victory and tap dancing on Pro Jared's grave. Why do male allies always turn out to be the biggest sex perverts imaginable? Is it because these guys have no game? Um, but yeah, the male allies thing does turn out, usually, to be really thirsty motherfuckers. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say though in Jared's case that he's a male ally because seemingly he's fucking everybody's wife. <laughs> so there you go. <clears throat> From Trues, hi Jim. Been playing War Thunder. The ships are nice. Also, do Sargon's milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard? Well, yeah, because his taste is better than theirs. From the Turkish Zoo, 
It's Clown World Hong Kong. From K Condor, F and Chat for Ross, who got cucked. Com West 907, Jim says channel 10 times fast. Uh, <laughs> no? There you go. I'm reading the comment out. You'll have to super chat me again because I'm a whore for money. And just literally type out channel, channel, channel to get me to do it. From Martin Smoger, Soygoy is, fa or is falling, my lads. From Eduardo Ramirez, Rama, Rama, Rama. I'm going to step on the Rama. From Nick, just woke up for a na or from a nap. Now this, getting a drink. From Zaspor, I wish we could hear Mandar's thoughts on this. Jesus, so do I. Uh, Mandar's stream, I guess, the interview was fucking wild. I had a really good time on that. He is doing a podcast. I don't know if that's going to be on his own private site or if he's doing it through YouTube. Uh, but from what I understand, within the next week or two, uh, Mandar's going to do his own show. So when David gets that up, I will I will put the link up for people that want to go listen to it. If you want to get photon pilled real fucking hard, <laughs> you got to check David out. From Captain Weep 56, check out uh, FTW tonight, Sunday through Thursday, 8.30 Eastern. From Did Not Do Streams. Printing out in real life super chats and handing them out a dollar a page. In real life request form and scream on bitwave.com TV forward slash Dindu Worski, spaghetti condoms, dumpster diving, and anime jizz figures. From Justin, why are my parents divorced? Oh, well, it's your fault, Justin. Clearly, clearly, if you were a good boy, they'd still be together. You should feel bad. From Mando Duke, Daddy Jim, address dog as new live streams. Fuck me, I haven't watched that guy in like a month. He's got like 20 people watching him. And every one of his mods is a fat furry. I, I can't listen to Dead Air anymore. I'm sorry. If there's a great clip, maybe somebody can send it to me. From Lily Liver. Jim, can you recommend us your favorite liquors? I am a very straightforward, practical kind of guy. If I'm going to drink, I'm going to drink to get drunk. Period. Don't like to fuck around with wines and beers and shit like that. Give me the nastiest shit with a decent alcohol content. And let's just get it done with so I can be nice and drunk and enjoy my evening. So if I'm going to drink, uh, I'm going to go with Russian paint thinner, also known as Kharkov vodka. It tastes like it's melting your insides, but it gets the job done. <laughs> it comes in a real fancy plastic bottle. From Austin, hey Bobby, what's 9 plus 10? From Shane Frazier, I'm still recovering from the David Stay red pill. From Foregon, press B to brap on Sargon's, <laughs> Sargon's grave. Be love the dictator. Keep up the good work, Jim. You provide me some uh, good li or some food for laughs for me over the years. Just don't let Pro Jared in his anime costume steal your girl. Can you do me a favor and call my friend Caleb a soy boy? Caleb, you are a soy boy. From Mr. Savage, Rubber Ninja Ross is a great guy who got cucked. From Cunts Creek Kino Pick Studios, what do you think about Vice breaking into Jim Watkins' house after Soros buys off $250 million worth of debt to keep them operational? Um, actually, I, I have thought about this. Uh, given that the uh, New Zealand shooter, I, I don't know what the, whatever you want to call him, but given that the guy posted on 4chan, or 4chan, 8chan, um, here's what I think is happening. I think Vice is tracking people down to do a piece on it. Uh, they're looking up Watkins, they're looking up people from 8chan. I would not be surprised if they go after Josh. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there are a couple of people from Vice wandering around the Ukraine right now because he, he told the authorities to fuck off. He's been very vocal about his opinion on this stuff and sharing information. So, you know, like after seeing the thing that happened with Watkins, if I were Josh, I'd be looking over my shoulder because you never know when that chick from Vice is going to show up. From Lewis Patterson, Jim, how do I spin this whole story so that I can blame the ethnic minority of my choice? I'm really confused. Please help. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Um, you're going to have to ask somebody with a bigger brain than me. Uh, maybe MEP candidate Carl Benjamin might be able to help you. Um, I hear as a black man, he might have some insight into this. From Sergeant Scotty, I'm in Oklahoma. Wish me luck. Good luck. From new type 0085, David Stay, more like Andrew Dice Stay. Who's your favorite comedian, Jim? I can't name one off the top of my head, but uh, shows that I've watched and really enjoyed. Strangers with Candy, Upright Citizens Brigade, Kids in the Hall, I, shit like that. That's the kind of comedy I like. Um, it's not really around anymore. I don't. I guess I don't really have a comedian that I like because the shows that I used to watch that I found funny don't really exist at this point. From Raphael Wyke, 
Jim, could you shout out my brother band, LSD, and the Search for God on Bandcamp? Thanks, brother. My brother's band, LSD and the Search for God, which is up on Bandcamp. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop streaming. Jade's Bull is waiting to be prepped. From JTOKI12, always fun to watch dumpster fires like this. Jared's digging his own grave even deeper. It's too hilarious to miss. From Moderator Marcy, I learned something today, Boomer Jim. Recently, Wings of Redemption got in a relationship with a grandma. <laughs> Why? That is a horrifying thought. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, the thought of Wings of Redemption's giant gunt smothering an elderly person, breaking her hips with his girth. I, one of his tits probably weighs 200 pounds, probably fractured a fucking hip bone with that. <laughs> uh, Cursed Dragon, I, Jim, love waifu pillows. From Skimmerlet, your plug helped. Thanks for anime sermons and manga mysticism, Skimmerlet. From Dick Breath Express, every person involved looks like they smell of Play-Doh and stale so or soiled diapers. From Feel Good Always 990, so if Jared's open relationship story is true, does that make Jared the alpha cuck? I don't think he's, I don't think he's reached the level of alpha cuck yet, like our boy from that dating show we watched on Stream Me. Uh, but I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're more side chicks, who knows. Moderator Marcy, somewhere out there, Monday Matt is in his basement with his wife, two sons, and he says to himself, at least I'm not Jared. From Little Littlers, Jim, you need to watch my latest video. You need to see this crazy, absolutely unhinged man by the name of John Bodine. No BS, some funny stuff. Well, check it out. From SS, sorry, General. I'm away right now, leaving a woo after the beep. Thank oh, you want me to? Okay. Sorry, General. I'm away right now, leaving a woo after the beep. Thanks. From Nigel Kilgus. Of course you would start streaming while I'm at work, you potato basketball American. Godspeed all the same, Ro or boss RRU. From Kenzie Crisnazzo. I always butcher your name. Hi, Jim. Since usually butcher my last name... Oh, there we go. Butcher my last name when I send Super Chats. Here's how you pronounce it. Crescenzo. There we go. Kenzie Crescenzo. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the water bottle that popped up in Game of Thrones? <laughs> what the fuck was up with that show? And then one day, for no reason at all, right? Like, <laughs> what did they do? You know, here's my thoughts on what happened with Game of Thrones last season. I think this is... You want to know who's sitting on the Iron Throne right now? Mickey fucking Mouse. All right, they held out that Star Wars money, you know, to those guys, and were like, fuck Game of Thrones. You come over here to the House of Mouse, you make me a Star Wars film. Fuck that gay little show you're doing on HBO. Just, uh, I don't know, kill the dragon, do whatever the fuck. Come get that Star Wars money. That's who's sitting on the Iron Throne. They got lured away from doing a good show. Uh, people were saying, what, that HBO was willing to do 10 episodes, even more money, and they're like, fuck it, no, we're doing this. Uh, I think they handled it disastrously once the source material ran out, and it's been funny watching people get upset. <laughs> she holocausts an entire city, gets stabbed. They said John Snow to the Night Watch. What's he gonna do? What are you? What are you watching, John? <laughs> well, there's nothing there, is there? Uh, Bron the Brave, our crippled king from the Magic Treehouse, sitting on the Iron Throne now. I <laughs> what a disaster. I'm so glad I wasn't really into the show. So I didn't invest eight years in it. My condolences to the motherfuckers that did. From Earjuice. Shout out to Bitwave TV. Also, I made a Pro Jared theme song remix you may enjoy. One day, you will play an Earjuice parody song, Jim. From NGR. Hey, Jim. Thanks for making my graveyard ship bearable tonight. What's your opinion on Tales of series? Knicker nerds, rise up. I actually like the Tales of games. Uh, you know, one of the ones that I really liked, I think was on the GameCube, Tales of Symphonia. Uh, I think that's the one. I, I don't know. It's been a while. I gen I generally I like them. From Travs or Travis Rumsey, fuck Mary, kill Holly Christian and Ruby the Hole. I'll kill myself and skip the other two options. From Mister Quickly, thank you for existing, Jim. You bring light into our lives. Eric Chandler, milkshake or butter knife, weapon of choice. I <laughs> I don't think you're even allowed to own butter knives anymore, so you're kind of stuck by default with the milkshake. From Cash Fozzie, gamer moment. Rob Keefe. Rip Palmer, he didn't do nothing. Keep up the party, you rib-eyed steak twink. From that Indian dude, I should be above, I should be above Reese drama. You know, take the high ground, but I'm not. Things like this bring a smile to my face because it distracts from my train wreck of a life. Very true. I think people enjoy it uh, because it's not them. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't ever feel shamed 
for watching a train wreck and enjoying it. It's human nature. We're all fucking wired like that. From Little Littlers, John Boyden, former vet who got schmeat by a bull and lost custody of his five kids. He makes money for child support by showing his micro penis fake PTSD. <laughs> okay, I'll check your video out after the stream. I've ne I don't think I've heard of the guy. Uh, Gabriel D. Today is my twenty first. Or twenty first. Thank you for giving my my slosh self some entertainment. By the way, you always say my name wrong. It's Gabrielle. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Gabrielle, happy birthday. Enjoy your twenty first. Go get shit faced drunk and then wake up puking tomorrow and telling yourself I'm never gonna drink again. From Josh Sketch Show. Had to quit my job today over a manipulative supervisor, but seeing your stream really helps. Thank you for the laughs, Jim. Really appreciate it. Well, you'll get another job. Get another job, and hopefully your next boss won't be a dick. From Count Giraffe, where did she get those nudes pics from? She went to Jared's. TK, or TKV, do you use Telegram? Uh, no, I don't. There's a load of degeneracy on there right for the picking. I recently stumbled upon a baby fur political chat that's about as bad as you would think. Not enough booze in the world for this. Have a bottle on me. From Dude Priestman, the, uh, the, the track renders unconscious and suffers from multiple stab wounds that leak sounds that hurt. I think my brain might have broken on that one. Silent Wyvern, I'm just waiting for the inevitable YouTuber apology video. Remember Jared, deep sigh. Gabrielle D, I used to watch Jared back in the day and always thought he was the biggest dweeb. Somehow dweebiness earned pussy, I guess. Pretty wild. It is wild. I don't know how it works either. It's amazing, isn't it? From Finchy Bird, I own an Asuka Langley Dakamura with cute feet. Well, thank you for sharing. Johnny Sparin, he played himself like a damn fiddle. Azure Rhythm, YouTube has given me free shekels, so here you go. The SP, or SPCL Flash, shout out to Merchant's Guild from Giles Corey. From Chris Nunez, what's with these YouTubers and sexual troubles? Pro Jared, Austin Jones, Toby, tu or Toby Turner, Jew Wario. Why is YouTube collectively or collecting these degenerates hot take? There's a kids in the hall sketch. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go boomer on you. There's a kids in the hall sketch about a, a dude who's like a real basic bitch office worker, right? And he gets a minor promotion, and he goes mad with moderate power. Like, he loses his shit because he's in charge of the fucking fax machine now. I think it's kind of like that. I, For whatever reason, some people, when they get just a sliver of popularity, just a tiny bit of money, a little bit of position or a tiny bit of power, lose their shit and just go overboard. So all the things that were basically kept in check by family and friends and community and society, <laughs> they feel they can just let it loose because they made a YouTube video somebody watched. I, I don't know what to tell you. It really is weird. Some people are fucking dumb. Uh, the Raging Majority. Holly is a self-harming thought. From Ben Dover. Happy Monday, Jim. Love the streams. Shout out to Obiyami Gang. Uh, ah, man. 55 characters left. Uh, wiener. From Groby Grungus. For the close out song, can you play The Cheater by Bob Kubin? Uh, maybe. I'll take a look. From... Cristola, 99, how do you go from being a teacher to memes? Uh, well, you can't let your dreams be dreams, can you? Just gotta, you gotta follow that rainbow to its inevitable conclusion. <laughs> from Kermit Cujo, Jim needs 10 cc's of cummies quick. From Ryan Cromer, free Google Bucks and joy. Briar Rose, Papa Jim, don't you want a finger paint and side hoe, though? I, I don't think I'd, again... I, well, first off, I would recommend being faithful in your relationship. Secondly, I would advise against polyamorous open relationships. Thirdly, if you're in a polyamorous relationship, don't fuck crazy people. They will destroy you. So no, I don't want a finger paint in Idaho. From Chris Nunez, find it funny that Holly checks in private tweets, then publishes her manifesto after making the first tweet saying not to believe strangers. From Labyrinth Rebel, Jared lost more subs than Kaiser Wilhelm II in World War I. From Shen and Nog. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whew. Gotta stop smoking. Time's running out here. From Shen N. Jared is probably the ugliest looking trap the internet has ever seen. From Corey Ghost. You're the best, Jim. Never change. Gamers rise up. From the Turkish Zoo. This is 20 times better than Game of Thrones was. It is a complicated plot. I will give it that. From Colat Dante. Jim, don't let Jade hear you asking the internet to come help you. <laughs> she probably probably beat me. From 
Uh, Trexer Grant. Sup, Jose. Vance McCandless. Pro Jared is the worst ever of all time. Ryan Bless, this is fun. Glad you enjoyed it. Killer Queen, tea is mighty hot today. From Jack Ryan. Jim, were you really dry heaving on Deviance 5? Yes, I was. If you're talking about that fucking awful... Uh, hold on, let me... Can't... I've been coughing tonight, so let me have a cigarette. That should help. That's a smart decision. I got a big brain myself here. Up in the leagues, up in the leagues, the scholars like Pro Jared's smart ass. Uh, yes, I really did heave. Uh, it was the... I, I, I guess the description of what they were doing it was horrible yeah that really made me sick from new guardian jimmy jiminy jim jiminy jim jim mckee histor or historical uh hungarisy uh what happened to palmer's channel <clears throat> i i don't know i i know palmer went down stream clips went down and i think somebody else did uh they're talking uh this is asking about archiving channels uh maybe you've noticed if you watch my streams I take them down within an hour. Sometimes they go up on hell. Sometimes they don't. <clears throat> uh, but there are multiple channels that are out there, not just for my stuff, but other people's, where they archive it all. And like three or four of them all went down at the same time. So I, I don't know what happened. Uh, other people are still archiving, but as far as those channels go, I, I don't know. From Citizen01, if a girl requests that, it's a huge shit test. From Damon Darwin, bet Jared thinks he's a passable trap. <laughs> Let's, I'll put that picture back up. Let's see. Chat, I don't know. What do you think? Is Jared a passable trap? Would you meet this man in a bar and be like, well, would you meet this pretty lady in a bar and be like, yep, that's the lady I want to marry. That's her right there. <laughs> I'm going to say fucking no. I, You know, I, it's I, no, no. I don't know how much liquor you'd have to drink to confuse yourself like that, but nope. Nope, not at all. Not at all. Not passable. Not in the least. I, I'm, I'm reading basic. I'm reading uh, regular chats. Uh, basic response to this. <laughs> People are not, They're saying no. I wouldn't hit it. I. I think they'd rather quit life than hit that. I'll be honest with you. Um, you know what? Let me, I'm going to grab a drink before I read the rest of these. I'll put on a little bit of background music while I go grab something. Uh, let me see here. What's a, what's a good song? Oh, you know, I'll, I'll put this on. I'll put this on, and uh, we'll take a quick five-minute break, and then I will come back and read the rest of the chats. Uh, so if you need to take a piss, grab something to eat, whatever, uh, like three to five minutes, we'll read up the rest of the uh, Super Chats, and we'll... We'll finish out the stream. I'm Captain Falcor. Are you Spanish? No, no, I'm English. Ah, good. We don't like a Spanish. We kill all Spanish for the king of the French. Okay, I've got my drink. We are ready to continue. Let's get through the rest of these super chats and then call it an evening. I'm sure we've all got fun shit to do in the morning. From Coke Boy... Oh, sure i've got this lined up i think did i miss one nope nope we're good from coke boy 53 love your content jim if you want some quick laughs check out body language ghost brie larson video sometime from coila dante holy shit did this chick say she's asexual before jared does that mean she and her own husband never f well that's actually a very good observation i missed that uh, you are correct she said she's asexual and she was married there's a very real potential the first dick she had inside her was jared's from Lily Liver, asexual. Now I feel even worse for Ross. Poor guy. From Muffin, Jim, I donated. Please respond. Random less. Looking cute today, Jared. Very cool. <laughs> From Terminator, Terminal SPC, I'm going to say the N-word. Everybody stand back, collectivists. It's coming. From Ninja Work 111 hi, my name is Mr. Mediker, and Discord is awesome. And that would be Ninja Work saying that. I disagree. I think Discord is shit. From Pepe Sylvia, Diath and Strix are their D and D characters. Ah, there we go. From Palix Tobin, a cosplayer acting crazy. Why I never. From Texas Twelve, Diath and Strix are their D and D names. They played on YouTube, which they basically had a crush on each other during gameplay. From Angel Ren eighty nine, always trust the male feminist to blame women. From Ogurk, this whore can live without the D and D and D and D and D. From Cuke, 
Clown World, honk honk. Seriously, I'm not surprised about anything anymore. After the furries, pedos, and cucks, what's left to be surprised by? Honk honk. You know, I think you summed it up. <laughs> we live we live in an era of just insanity, don't we? You gotta have a good laugh at it. What's what's the point of fighting it? Just sit back and watch it burn. Gamers rise up. Bottom text. We live in a society. All that shit. From Jack, Ren Sakura, and Saiba, Fate. From Sinak 8, Jim, you are a je- or you are jealous that Sargon is making a change. By the end of it, he will remove more freedoms of the, uh, from the UK citizens. You know, I've avoided saying anything really, aside from laughing at him on Twitter. Uh, just wait till the 23rd. I think you're going to like the live stream. I'm fairly certain people are going to like the video. Don't want to give away spoilers. Maybe it has to do with his entire political campaign. Who knows? But I'll, I'll save I'll save my hot takes till then. From NinjaWork111, several live streams never made it to your page. Sure, I can find mirrors, but I'm curious if you'll ever get around to uploading them to Hal. You're a neager. Uh, well, yeah, I'm very lazy, terribly lazy, about re-uploading uh, live streams. Uh, and my good friend Hal, good guy, but I need to get those live streams to him a little quicker. I understand what you're saying. From Xenofag Uprising, Jesus Christ, women are insane. From the Cartoon Zone, hey Jim, when's the next Garfield movie? I'm a big fan of the comic strips. I don't know when it's coming out. Fingers crossed it's soon. From Tony Goat, A. Lamau. Red Zeno, I was on a walk with him. He sent me a screenshot of a text message. Why not just look at his phone? She's either lying or stupid. From Steve Wood, years ago someone called Jared uh, an alien head shit kid. I think it's pretty accurate. Oh, somebody called him an alien head shit kid. I think it's pretty accurate. From Killshot Kenny, there's no proof with Holly's text. There's no dates and H can stand for Holly or Heidi. It makes more sense to me that Holly and Jared are lying. From Chris Nunez, seems that Heidi admitted to those messages Holly posted. The thread on Heidi's Twitter is pretty interesting. Check it out if you haven't. From New Guardian, Bing Bing Woohoo, one girl won't do. That's actually fairly clever. I like that. From Lou Rick L, can't even send YouTube links. Look up Seymour featuring Rubber Ninja. Ross is the Red DBZ guy. He talks about it. He's quite mature. P.S. Monday Matt is a massive. Uh, yeah, I, I again, I know. I, I know who he is. I, I just, I'm trying to leave him out of it because I feel really bad for him. I feel like he got, you know, he just got fucked really hard. And I just don't have the heart to drag him into it too much. From some guy, it's nerf or nothing, Jared. From Spanos, Pro Jared did nothing wrong. He was just trying to create a harem. But forget, you're not supposed to marry any of them. From Garrett Jeffries, still a better love story than Twilight. Very true. From Jessica Ustis. I don't know, Jim. Remember that woman who chopped off her husband's dick? They look like the type to chop off a man's dick for sliding them. I know who you're referring to. Oh, my God. That was, um... Oh, that was in the news. Yeah, she cut his cock off and then, like, drove down the street and hucked it out a window. (laughs) She was very pissed. From Abel. The clown dimension sure has its funny moments. From Skyari of the Trees. Thank you, Anti-Jarrett. From Vizix. These people are dregs of humanity at this point. I think they're just milking the whole situation for attention. Their careers are already done. From Stephen McWilliamson, Medicare the Stallion. From Lurik L, it's Jer- if Jared's big, what's the, uh, what's that say about Ross? Yikes. From Joey Jojo, the modern dating scene is a quagmire of degeneracy and nonsense. Do what I did, fellas, and find a nice older single lady with nice titties. Mar- or Marco Sims, this is embarrassing. From Donnie Sparrow, does Jared look like an anorexic turtle to you, Jim? Now that you mention it, yeah, a little bit. From Meterian, <laughs> Meterian, this Jared lore goes way too deep, I can't take it. I thought it was just a rabbit hole, but it's turned into a gold mine. What a story, what an epic tale. From Vincent Pisano, pro Jared files underage thoughts, receipts like the IRS, <laughs> LOL. From Mikkel Mansbridge, perfection, Jim, just absolute perfection. From Cam Harrell, Jim, any advice for Sargon? Again, I'm going to withhold any comments until the 23rd. From Jay of the Decline, Penis Mitten. Yeah, that's worth two bucks. From Ian Aldridge, Holly's eyes appear to be looking at a fly on her nose. Didn't the Ghostbusters say not to cross the streams? From Demon Raz 117 Jim Smoking is a side hoe for your lungs. Please quit. From Chris Nunez again, Lord High Medicare. Can you give us an update summary on the saga of the stepfather and his milkshake adventures? Uh, it is coming. From Elron Humperdinck. Jared doesn't have a giant dick. He is one. 
Lady Cat, these chicks are insane if they think that's a big pee-pee. From Lan, Pro Jared 2, the cuckening. Juan Morales, thanks for all you do. Have enjoyed your commentary since the Internet Aristocrat days and hope you continue to have the drive to keep it up. Robert, or Rabbit Corn, oh boy, I have a story for you. One of abuse and neglect and a woman living with her husband and boyfriend. Should I send what I know? Uh, feel free to send it to my uh, good friend on Twitter, uh, Mr. Anti-Bully. From Clayton Goodman, Satan is coming right now. Kara Pappas, faggot. From Ishma Boy, I've watched Jared since 2006. Dude has always been a pushover. He let this crazy cunt control him. And when he finally had enough, he she blew up his career and used the explosion to leapfrog her own. Uh, from Tequila Warlord, degeneracy always exponentially compounds. From Commissar Hughes, speaking of Blue's Clues, who took down your channel a year ago? It is still a bit of a mystery. I'll be honest with you, lots of suspects. One day, my friend, one day we're, we're going to unravel that mystery. From Tire Sun, Druid Fockett looks sane all of a sudden Jimbo. Caleb Lambright, thank you, Jim, for the spontaneous stream. From Scott Decker, why are all the hella gamer fr or faggots super abusive? I, I don't know what to tell you. It's weird. From Jay of the Decline, Heidi like that. The God of Orphans, shout out to Will. From Zalius, dudes don't have pics of their wives and contacts. From SJ, leave it to the basic SJW bang Twitter whore to have me feeling bad for Chinese, for a chinless Nintendo nerd. She wanted an open marriage until Jared practiced it. From Clayton Goodman, they all fucked. Gabe Mule, Jim, will you cover Jared Genesis in the future? I, I don't know where this crazy shit's going to go, I'll be honest with you. It seems like we've gotten quite a bit of shit coming out. I think there's still a few more twists and turns in this whole story arc, so we'll see. From Taj Gunn, going viral, a CW show coming 2020. Monolo, or Monica Lewinsky and the Did Nots. When a Magic the Gathering streamer roasts you by saying the misspelling of deck does not does nothing in my chat. I'm not pro Jared. You know you're done. From Pokey Partum Depression. Princess Zelda is spitting less drama and heart bleeding bullshit. I'm inclined to believe her over Sailor Mercury and Holly. From Gabe Noob. He's above average for uh <laughs> for Sajans, so Jade would be more than satisfied. How's it feel that he's boffing your wife behind your back? I'm very hurt. Very hurt. I'm gonna I'm gonna need more money. You gotta send me more money. This pain is too much. From Liam Gray, Anime Hitman, all three of these guys kept those texts, emails, and past communications very Machiavellian. This is some real Game of Thrones stuff. They all suck. From some guy, how about they're all Spurgy degenerates? From uh, Horgamund07, so Heidi's whole complaint is, you didn't text me while you were talking to Holly. She can't leave them alone for three hours without freaking out. Red Zeno, Ross can't be this much of a cuck because he dumped her. From Travis Rum or Rumsey, Hose Mad. Red Matter, thank you for the stream, Mr. Minecraft. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, pick a Rick. From Toxic Madman. How much longer do you think he, this will keep going, Jim? Probably for another two to three weeks. Uh, and then it'll... It, whatever, it, the same thing will happen, what always happens. Uh, more new shit will come up and people will forget. But the damage has been done. I don't think Jared can pull this back. I, I don't know how he would have to. I, I don't know what he could do. He's kind of fucked. From Canonalis510, member of the polyamory stream you did. Or remember the polyamory stream you did. How the hell did you predict this? Mixtradamus. J of the Decline, Delete Lawyer, Facebook Jim. From Scoop, Vindictive Women are Vindictive. Hidden Masquerade, it sounds like they were both manipulated by Jared. From Farm Master Flex, good soap opera, better if they turned into soap. From Sword and Scale, love what you're doing, please keep exposing the absurdities of the internet. From Phoenix Lord Asserman, first time super chatting you. Thanks for the hilarious content. Rabbit Corn again, not a YouTuber thing, not anyone famous. Mixture of sad and funny. From Jay of the Decline, John Goes North. Emma, Ful <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I'm going to pronounce this. Emma Full Canelli. Let's trend, hashtag, what about the Ross? I think we're getting close to being caught up here. There, there are a few more. I'll try to hit them all. Uh, where are we here? Red Cell 96. This is why I am loathing the gaming community and anime communities. It's like guys like this. It's guys like this where we get to see his dong dong on the internet and for all and Jim to see. He also ruined Sailor Mercury. That is irredeemable. From Emma again, I was a fan of Jared's when I was 15. I had a friend who actually thought he was cute. Xenofag Uprising again. Have you seen Into the Spider-Verse? Uh, no, I've not. 
Briar Rose, you're like the Lorax of the internet. You speak for the sane, so few left. Here's some Super Varies, Mr. Lorax. From Alex Blackfoot, procrastinate now. Do not put it off. Little Littlers, I keep forgetting all this stuff. He's also a liberal atheist pastor who marries homosexuals, but was once homosexual or homeless when his wife cucked. I believe you're talking about the dude on your channel. I, I will check that video out after the stream. From Isabel, uh, your mom gay? From Sudafin. Thank you for the Nick Bates video. It's a classic. I'm glad you liked it. Anon, I bet Pro Jared is a furry and gay. From Technician123, not playing Alan Jackson's Who Cheatin' Who. From Double A, how come it's fine to make fun of anybody except a certain group? Uh, there are a lot of people that get very upset when you start shitting on them. Uh, that's part and parcel of living on the internet. From Little Littler's Almost Forgot, he got arrested for building bombs and also arrested for federal harassment. Gabapentin is one hell of a drug. War is heck. From Metroid 1859. My RuneScape clan self-destructed tonight. Thank you, Jim, for making the ir uh, irritation more bearable. From Lane, placing bets on Jared's inevitable transition now. Some YouTube account, abortion, man's body is his castle. Women's, a cemetery. From Thyri Carver, have a one-tenth of a pack of smokes on me, Daddy Jimbo. From Knives, uh, Guva King loving kids in the hall, but they all lost it. Oh, fucking love kids in the hall, but they all lost it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, one guy went out to do news radio, which is pretty good. Uh, Rusty Shackelford, go look up Bread Crusader Buck on Facebook. It's hilarious. Main Master Nate Proger reminds me of the villains in Signs, Laugh My Ass Off. From Silent Wyvern, laying in bed with the flu, got into a car accident this weekend. Thanks for the laugh, and uh, thanks for the laughs to keep me going. Hopefully your recovery goes well. Moderator Marcy, hey, Boomer Jim. Just a reminder, if you get into the contact with David Stay on stream, the fans want both of you to say, let the darkness grow together. I will remember that. From Garrett Jeffries, John went north, area went west, Drogon went east, and the show went south. From Blue Door, hey, Jim. Do you know the Murdoch Murdoch crew? If so, what do you think of them? I actually find the show pretty fucking funny. Uh, it sucks that every time it gets uploaded on YouTube, it's instantly taken down. Um, but I, I've always enjoyed it. From the very first video they did, I thought it was funny shit. Uh, but no, I do not know them. Uh, all speculation aside, I've I've not personally met them. And I, you know, we talked briefly uh, via messages on YouTube once. And then YouTube got rid of YouTube messaging and that was the end of it. From EB081997, can you call my roommate Mika a nibafag? Uh, Mika, you're a nibafag. From AA1488, my Niger. Love you, Boomer Jim. From Mycin95, what is wrong with white people? If you want to sleep with more than one woman, just convert to Islam and take four wives. <laughs> From Feudalization, Jim, you should watch Trevor Moore, The Story of Our Times. Stabby McStabwood, I'm crushing your head. I'm crushing your head. From K Knives, do you watch Sam Hyde's Gumroad stuff? I uh, know I haven't been able to check that out, actually. From Brett, do you hate knickers? Clayton Goodman, how do I find the clitoris? From Griff Gambino, brand the wheelie wheelie legs no feely Stark, ruler of the Six Kingdoms. Jay of the Decline, Karkoff Pint, give me my 20 cents. How are you kids doing? Uh, from Asphyxiation, has Nick, prayed, uh, has Nick paid you for referring David? I, I expect the settlement money from that NASA lawsuit. I need my piece of the pie, at least 5%. From Bagel Goose, when do we get to see your toes? From Gaming Dev, consume my bean burrito. Garmin Grimm, why are you such a giant homosexual? <laughs> go big or go home. The Orange Cow, say Toy Boat ten times fast. Oh, and you actually wrote it out. Toy Boat, Toy Boat, to <laughs> That's the end of it. I don't know what horrible thing you're trying to trick me into saying. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to turn into for a soundbite. But one day I may want to run for president or <laughs> for, for a fancy political position that requires an Applebee's outfit, and I don't want it coming back to haunt me. So I'm not going to do that. From Redneck Guitarist, Mandar started a channel, State of Mind. From Jesse Darty, I saw a vid on YouTube called Frog 2000 by RJ Jubilee. She's a middle-aged autist and did all the animation and music herself. From Baron Julius Von Brunk, Justice for Monkey Jones. Danger Bone, Two Girls, One Cuck. V Sniper 64, honestly, I think this is proof that polyamory is a bad idea. I've tried being in an open relationship before, too, and it sucks even when it's not this public. Stay awesome, Jim. Thank you. Yeah, I, I again, I think it's a just a risky thing. 
from Jason C. Sorry, not Jared related. Thoughts on Oculus Quest? Not familiar with it. I I, I don't know. Uh, Monica Lewinsky and the Did Nots. Uh, fairly large super chat. I don't know if you forgot the message or they deleted it, but there's nothing there. Uh, thank you either way. From Phoenix, Jim Pro Jared is in the chat. Uh, chat, say hi to Pro Jared. He's watching with us, I guess. From Wiznat, people seem to pass over the fact that Jared was friends with Ross and even made a let's play of plus 10 episodes together. Genuine snake. From the cheesy hero, that degenerate games win degenerate or play degenerate games win degenerate prizes. These bundles of sticks are attempting to brew super gonorrhea. An open relationship isn't a relationship. From Jose M, Puai Seaman Nacho Feather Leather Coat. From Dame Pesos, is your post election stream video going to be about Soy Goy? If he loses a lot of subs, he will meet his boarded lucky son. His big wife let him like she made life leave his son. I hope he leaves us soon. Hashtag Gamergate is over. Uh, the video is about uh, a certain person's political uh, run for office. Think of like a mini documentary just focused on the announcement and the ending. Everything in between. I don't want to spoil it. I, you know, you know, I Got to keep it a secret. Who could it be about? But yeah, that's that's what the video is going to be about. From Emily Fulanaki. Let's, okay, and I think I've caught up now. Let me make sure, see if I uh, missed any here. Sorry, chat, if I did. I try my best to read them all. Uh, occasionally, I do miss some. A few more, and I think we're good. Artie the Base God, tell my friend, uh, Carnal Man, up and get a real motorcycle already. Uh, what's he What's he driving? I don't know. From Douge Meat, at Power Switch on Zab, can you feel your emotions? Show them that you have some. From Bagel Goose, don't dismiss my toe request, Jim. I've done that. I've done that twice now. From Red Cell 96, at least it will all be better ending than the Game of Thrones. Austin, retards rise up in the chat, lads. Laugh no more. Help a nigger out. What's a good job to get into? That depends what you like. You, you got to know you. Do you like working with people? Do you not like working with people? Can you stand working in an office? Do you have to be out in the field? Do you want it to be something that you use your hands or something that you use your mind for? Find something that will make you comfortable. If you can envision yourself doing it 10 years from now, that's the job you should go for. From Eduardo Ramirez, pig, uh, pig ups to my nickas, LSB, Turvin, and BEG gang. From Extreme Kiwi, y'all hating on Pro Jared Sa Sailor Mercury, but he's kind of hot though. Terrible. Terrible taste. What are you doing? Okay. And I believe I'm caught up. Uh, thank you very much, chat, for coming out. Hope you like the stream. Thanks for sticking around for the Super Chats. I tried to get to everybody. I think I got everybody this time. There will be a big election stream on the 23rd uh, and a video as well the same day. Uh, and I, I guess keep an eye on Jared. Wait for that lawsuit to come. I have a feeling one's coming. Um, so who knows? Somebody, maybe it's related to sex pictures. Maybe it's related to the claims those two people who said they were 16 made. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, but... That's my feeling. My gut feeling is that's coming. And, you know, stay away from open relationships. They end badly. And for the love of God, don't talk about your relationship and your breakup on the Internet. It never works out well. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Enjoy work. Enjoy school. Go do what you got to do. And I will see you later on. Let me find what song are we going to go out on. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. I like this song. Somebody went to the effort of making this, and I like it. Have a good one, chat. I'll see you later on.